Dear members and guests, it is a great pleasure today to welcome Mr. Hyung Jun Won, the CEO of Linden Bell Music, to the Oxford Union today. It's an enormous privilege for me to host Mr. Won here in the Oxford Union, as we, are all, we all very much hope that this remarkable event will play a part in the path towards achieving peace in the Korean Peninsula through orchestra diplomacy. Mr. Won is one of the few people currently permitted by the government of South Korea to to contact North Koreans in working to establish a united orchestra composed of a hundred South and North Korean young musicians. Today, Mr. Won has kindly accepted our invitation to, the use, to use the Oxford Union, a society that exists to promote free speech and debate, to speak about orchestra diplomacy and the goal of uniting young people from both countries to one day play together in Panmunjom. The Union has been the stage on which many great projects that have impacted the world we live in today have been announced and been discussed. And today I look forward to this happening once again as Mr. Wan explains the major issues and political situations surrounding the relationships between the two careers and the remarkable progress he has achieved thus far with his project. So ladies and gentlemen, please do join me in a round of applause for Mr. Wan. I'll be playing Yuan Sebastian Bach, Violin Sonata, Adagio.
Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you very much. I played my music from memory, but I can't memorize this, so please excuse for myself. I would like to thank Oxford Union for this invitation, especially your president, Maria, and treasurer, Perry. Thank you very much. I'm a musician, and music is my language. So I'm grateful for the chance to perform for you and talk about how music teaches you to be more considerate and communicate better. I want to share the story of my journey with you today. The first step was my personal background and how I became a musician. Second, the founding of the Lindenbaum Music Festival and what I learned from the experience. Third, how I arrived at my greatest dream to bring together young musicians from South and North Korea during the festival. Like many South Koreans, I grew up knowing that I had relatives in the North. During ceremonial rites to honor our, our ancestors, I always noticed an extra setting and didn't know who it was for. My grandfather told me it was for his mother. My grandfather came from North Korea during the Korean War. His mother stayed behind. They never met again. But my grandfather never forgot her and kept a pair of her slippers in his drawer. My mother's side of the family is also from North Korea. And it turns out my wife's family is from the North too. So I am surrounded by separated families. And the divide between the South and North has always been a very real for me. This made my current dream a very personal one. I went to New York to study violin at Juilliard. It was not easy, to put it mildly. When I could not pay tuition, I thought seriously about dropping out. But my mentor, David Kim, the concertmaster of Philadelphia Orchestra, told me I had a gift and that I should not give up, no matter what. He encouraged me to stay strong and pursue my music. I would not be here if it wasn't for him. He also told me about the Pacific Music Festival in Japan. So I went to Sapporo in 2008 and learned about Leonard Bernstein's idea for the PMF. Bernstein always had a passion for teaching young musicians and helping them reach their dreams. That's why at the age of 71 in 1990, he founded the PMF. I'd like to read some lines from his address at the opening ceremony of a PMF. I now must make the choice again of how best to serve music and serve people through it. Whatever I know not only about music, but also about the arts, and not only about art, but also about the relation between art and life, and about being oneself, finding oneself, knowing who you are, and doing the best possible job. If I can communicate some of this to as many young people as possible in the years that, re that remain to me, I will be a very happy man. The PMF, once one of, the his, one of the his last things he did, Bernstein died later that year, but the PMF is still going strong. When I read this by Bernstein, it was like a light bulb turned on in my head. I wanted to do the same. I wanted to help 
are the young musicians pursue their dreams. Just like Bernstein and my mentor, it felt like this was my destiny. So in 2009, I started the Lindenbaum Music Festival. It would not have happened without the support of many people. My mentor introduced me to the renowned Maestro Charles Dutois. Mr. Dutois is a very busy man. He's the principal conductor at the Royal Philharmonic. But he came on board because he shared my vision for helping young musicians realize their dream. Mr. Dittua and 13 other great international musicians somehow managed to adjust their schedules to work with 100 young Korean musicians. It was an amazing experience. Learning from some of the world's best musicians and I also learned so much. I saw what it takes to bring an orchestra together. Everyone had their own instrument and their own styles and sounds. It sounded terrible at first, but over time, they came together through teamwork, humility, and consideration. Each player listened to each other so that everyone could be in tune and they learned to make beautiful music. The final concert was a huge success beyond my wildest expectations. And afterwards, the mentors and young musicians all came together in tears. They were so overcome with emotion of what they'd achieved. So that moment opened my eyes to how music can overcome differences in personalities, styles, and backgrounds. Music really is the language that brings people together. I saw when people really listen to each other, try to understand from other people's point of view, the result is beautiful harmony. After the success of the first festival, I was trying to think of what more the Lindenbaum Festival Orchestra could do. I thought about what made the orchestra so unique. And I realized that it's the location, Korea. For a divided country, one orchestra can have a special meaning. It may not bring peace, but it may bring hope. All the connections fell into place. The sadness of being separated from family in the North, the mentors I had who inspired me to go for my dreams, and what I experienced about the power of music to bring people together in understanding. So now, I have an even greater dream. My dream is to stage a concert in Panmunjom, which is in the DMZ, a kind of a buffer zone between the two Koreas. The musicians will come from both sides of the border. I want to see young musicians from South and North Korea come together and share the experience of playing in one orchestra. 50 students from the North, 50 students from the South. They will work side by side and receive training from the best musicians. They will need to listen to each other and practice consideration they will create harmony. And I hope it will inspire more communication. I am grateful that so many people are helping me. We have the same dream. For my part, all I can do is play my best. Thank you for this chance to share my story with you. Thank you. Thank you very much.